Hi, this is Ronnie and welcome to my channel. Also, welcome to the 12 days of Christmas, day five. You see that picture right there? I am gonna scrap it. It is of my daughter and a couple of her friends. And my plan was to use the stuff you see in front of you. <laughs> but I turned around to use the die cuts and cut them out. And so I left that paper laying there. <laughs> and when I come back, I saw, well, I looked to see if it still said record. I wanted to make sure it said record before I started. And I couldn't see anything in my camera. All I seen was darkness except for a glow in the middle so my background paper was not going to work on the video and i thought if i'm going to make a video i'm going to have to find something else to use and so all this is like spur of the moment nothing planned and it was as you go making it up i went to my iris container and I decided to do this wreath and I debated whether or not to cut that out and everything on here is like spur of the moment. Yeah, I cut that out and I was thinking I would put the wreath up on foam tape and have the picture down lower. But then I decided no, I wasn't going to do it that way. I decided instead to adhere it straight onto the paper and I'm going ahead and putting the photo mats on the picture because I'm going to tape it to the wreath and then I while I'm doing that my plan was not to do that because I was planning on putting it on foam tape but uh, while I'm doing that I'll just go ahead and end up adhering the whole thing to the paper and there you've seen me cut out the Martha Stewart holly leaf and I'm folding them in half a little bit just to give them dimension and I'm scattering them on there thinking okay I'll put them on here maybe give some dimension to this but I'm thinking the whole time because I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing and then I said okay I'm going to cut some of these branches out because I still didn't know what I was doing but I was trying to figure out something as I went and this is where I decided to go ahead and put the picture on here and I'm going to put a little bit of um washi tape and then before I even turn it over I said nope I'm just going to go ahead and adhere the whole thing down and I you see me twisting it because I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted my picture straight or not I finally decided on straight though and you also see me take those little ornaments that I had die cut out of the shiny card stock and when I turned back around to put them on my other paper I seen how horrible it was up in the screen and I think I I can't remember why I looked oh I looked up there to make sure I hadn't turned the recording off and there was nothing to see I mean it was like a glare and black and every which way I turned the lights you name it you still couldn't see anything here I went and got some Tim Holtz ephemera and I've got two packages and the reason being <laughs> is I bought one package and didn't use it. And then a couple of years later, I seen another package. And I thought maybe it was something different because, you know, I had never used it, hadn't pulled it out. <laughs> and it was the same thing. The shades are different on them. Some of them in one package are darker than the other package. But I'm going through them because I have used a few now. And picking out what I wanted. I wanted things that weren't as big. So the big things don't make it on here. And I'm going to make little clusters. And put my holly leaf in there. And my uh, little branch. And this one said Merry Christmas. And it was damaged on the M. But I'm using it anyway. I'm just gluing it down with wet glue. So that the uh, all the places will be down. But in the close-ups you can see where it is damaged a little bit. But I'm going to do this over and over again all the way around the wreath. And I was not thinking when I did that. I should have zoomed in. I should have like done the cluster on, on one of them. I did it like below the scrapbook page. I had it pushed up a little bit. And I thought that's what I should have done on all of them. And had it close up. But no, I did not think of that. I didn't think of zooming in. I just kept working and thinking... Huh, I really wanted <laughs> shiny and glitzy for this. Uh, that's my daughter on the right hand side and her two friends. And they were at a fundraiser 
and the Christmas trees, that's why there's two of them, are on each side of them. There were more, but it was uh, one of those charity things where they auction off the Christmas tree. Places donate them, and then they auction them off, and the money goes to charity. <clears throat> it was so funny. <laughs> When we went looking for her dress, we went out of town to look. And she said she had to get her a prom dress. I said, a prom dress? Why? She, and she said she needed it for the charity event. And I said, Melody, you're old enough now that you need to call it an evening gown. <laughs> and she looked at me. So now every time she says it, because she's bought more than one since, she'll say evening gown <laughs> instead of prom dress. But I had to tease her. And uh, let's see, where am I at now? I did put over there on that one where it says Merry Christmas. I put on foam tape one that says Parcel Post. And then I put that Santa Claus there. And when I went back to take the pictures, I thought, oh, I wished I'd moved the Santa Claus up somewhere else and put that bigger ticket up there that's above their heads down there so they wouldn't have something as big down there but I am not moving it <laughs> it is staying where it's at but that was my wish and when I do go back to take the pictures I will put one more cluster in there when we I do the close-ups I'll point it out to you but it let I had left a gap where the photo was on that side and it looked really big when I was taking the picture so I decided I'd fill that in with a little small cluster that ho 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 if you've been watching the videos well I don't know <laughs> they're not all in order by the time they get loaded up but I had cut them out for another layout but the one the last one down there on the right that's white was green because I had them layered and then I cut them apart and they just never did make them on the layout but I decided it wouldn't show up very good on here so I used the white instead and the white was just supposed to be a backer and right now I'm doing the plaid green one and the reason it got moved to the center it was down a little lower is because I wanted it to show up a little better because everything is green on green and I'm going to have it hanging over into the middle so it shows up a little bit and I do have things clustered around these but I figure everybody can still read them and even the things in the cluster it's things we've it, this ephemeral we've seen over and over again when I was picking them out I really wanted to pick out the tinsel one that box looks just like the boxes when I was a kid and I keep planning on finding a picture of me and my brothers and sisters when we were kids we have very few pictures but and none that I can think of that's actually at Christmas we do have pictures of us with Santa well four of us I think one wasn't born yet and I thought I want to use this ephemera that's why I bought it I want to use this ephemera on there so I can use the tinsel and a couple of other ones that are on there and I still haven't done it it would have been really good for these pieces right here to figure out a way to use it I'm putting that doily there because when I was putting that uh, le those letters there I thought well, I'm not going to be putting the title there. That was my first intention and thought when I put the picture on. I'm going to have to fill it in some way. So I thought of the doily. So I put it on there, cut it in half. And I also used that, um, I think it's something linen, old linen or something like that, uh, of Distress Ink. I put it on there because everything in here is getting some of that. Except the wreath itself. I didn't any on there but the paper in the background it looks like it's already been inked and oh I'm just doing the holly leaf and I'm also doing the branches the uh, the branches I cut it use the center part of the wreath to um, for for me to punch them out because I didn't want actual white and it's a light green and then of course I inked it so it made it a little bit darker and that ticket I'm putting on there right now, the other day I was talking in a video about phone numbers years ago starting out like uh, Sherwood or Sunset and having letters. Well, this one starts J-U. And so I'm wondering, Juliet, Julius, <laughs> trying to think of something that it might be J-U while I'm putting that on there.
but it's for a ticket it's uh it's the christmas spirit and it's a complimentary ticket but yeah it's got some really good stuff on here that one box is peppermint and then of course a mint one ticket and then there's coupons on here and special delivery and the little tiny cluster that i put on when i go back to take the pictures i couldn't find anything i wanted that was small enough in the uh ephemera so i had some of that uh cartabella uh christmas delivery and so i it was a piece of paper and so i fussy cut out a package and then i inked it and put it on there and then i put a, one of those stamps on, on the top of it and of course i put the holly and the branch in there too but i think i'm getting close to getting done oh i i gotta do the center i put that tag there and i didn't want the to and from to show so i thought i've got to find something to go over the top of it so i got one of the candy canes that i had made one day and these are echo park i think it's the echo park die the candy cane is and it just has the candy cane it does not have two dies where you can put one on top of the other yeah if you want it to have red and white you got to put it on white and then you got to fussy cut around it <laughs> to have your white so i did a few that day and i think this is the last one i only seen one because i was looking for a second one so that i could kind of crisscross them and put them there but uh, like i said i only found one I am going to pull out my co bug kids that's a kids one and I'm going to cut out a red bow to put on the candy cane and that is just a little tiny a little die it's not very big at all I'm inking it and everything though I'm going to put it on top of the holly and the little branch and the candy cane and mix it in there and if you had noticed I did not notice when I did this when I put the tag back on, I'll end up moving it over to the left. Not quite sure why, but I think I'm going to go in there and move it back to the right a little bit. It's just a little bit over the picture more than I want it to be. But if it tears up the doily, guess what? I got another half in there. I can just fix that really quick. But I am getting about done with my layout i think that's like the last thing i do except that cluster i do when i go back to take the pictures i already had the video in here and the all the stuff where i walked away and all that shiny stuff that y'all did not want to see i mean i had ornaments made and everything before i looked up and saw that uh yeah i cut all that out and then I thought, oh, I haven't ever took pictures, so I went back and I took them. I was waiting for my Heidi swap to dry, and here's where I'm putting it on. I covered up my picture. I didn't want any on there, but I do like plenty. <laughs> I will scatter quite a bit around here, and uh, I think my daughter will like it. She loves shabby chic and vintage, and so she will like it, even though I want it shiny and glitzy. But yes, that's the end of my layout. You probably thought, oh, she's got plenty on there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I used to make, I used to sell home interior and I'd make swags and wreaths and florals and uh, I'd sell them at a home interior show, cash and carry. And there was times I'd stay up late that night when I'd get home to make another one. So, because I had a show the next night. And of course I had to work all day the next day. So that night would be the only chance I'd have to make another one. But there's that ticket with the J-U on there. It's a Christmas, this Christmas spirit. And then up the upper left-hand corner there is that package I cut out from the Cartabella Christmas delivery and put on there when I went back to take pictures. And there's my Santa Claus and candy cane and the last part of the title. So my title is Ho 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 or Ho 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 Merry Christmas because Merry Christmas is on there too but yeah uh not exactly what i had planned to start with but i think my daughter will like it and it's gonna go in her album because those are her friends <laughs> but thank you all so very much for watching down below will be the link to the next person on the hop and each day we'll have more than one person and of course 12 days so you we're, we're right at halfway thanks for watching 
I hope you have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.